Hey guys, uh, my name is Trinity and uh, today we've, we've just come back from a very emotional trip um, from Chaka 2. Uh, as you know, we are taking feeding to Chaka 2 refugee camp and Nakivali. Uh, it's a very hard you know, process for us to uh, get this permission to work in these uh, camps because the government uh, regulates how, how many organizations operate in these uh, camps. But luckily enough, uh, through our a friend on ground, uh, na both. Uh, every office we went to, God had favor on us and uh, we were cleared. And uh, that was really exciting to us to have, you know, got a confirmation to actually take our feeding program. So today, once we got the clearance like this, we, we say, right, why don't we jump on a bike to go down to the, to the camps and, and, and see some people in the villages. And uh, as we were going down the roads, uh, it really something hit us uh, when we started seeing the life these people really living. Uh, people are really living in uh, complete darkness. Then the excitement started to really drop and we started to face the reality that these people go through. Our friend on ground took us to, to meet one of the people living in these camps and this young man is called Bismana and Bismana is battling TB. When I met Bismana battling this disease and is sleeping on ground in this funny house. And uh, something you can't even call a house. It's like it was unbearable for us to see that a human being, a brother of ours, is going through such a condition. Uh, TB patient mm. and who is now uh, receiving treatment from mm. our main facility. Yeah, we are going to be reaching out to such people. And give them the best Christmas. Yeah, they enjoy it maybe. They are going to enjoy the best Christmas. Ever. Yeah. It's a blessing, man, to be here. For real. Mm. But we have very other more people who mm. are like him. Mm. Mm. So, uh, and uh, medical teams are 92 hands. Mm. This is very good. And uh, we we hope that this one continues for more years to come. And I want to thank the team, uh, Trinity and Wiseman. May God bless them towards this cause. And we hope for the best on the days to come. Amen. Wiseman, any words? Because I can just, I can just get it, you know? Mm. How can you live in such a way? Um, and they're sick, man. And even you're sick. As 92 hands, we are we're so privileged to have this opportunity to serve these people. And then uh, we're really, really, really looking forward to work with them and to help them with everything we can, you know, to put a smile on their faces, to share the love of Christ with them. And, uh, you know, God is going to do such wonderful things in their lives too. Uh, all of us around the world, we're excited about this Christmas, we're excited about this joy that Christmas brings. I, I, I didn't see any of that in this camp. And uh, people are just trying to survive, people are just trying to be alive. So the quick thing we had to do is to provide what we could for this young man who hadn't eaten since morning and he was sleeping. But I ask you two things today. Is first of all, pray for people living in such conditions please pray. But you can do more. You can reach out to these people and at least make Christmas memorable and meaningful to them. There are thousands of people like Bizimana who won't know Christmas. But with your hope, you can bring a smile to this city. You can bring joy. You can bring Christmas. So please join us. Help set 10,000 tables for refugees in Chaka too. Uh, 